to finish i wanted to show you this so i think in this in course of desperate times and also kind of answering um mark andreessen's post that was on the a16z web page i think it's this one let's see if i can get it up on there build a1 it's time to build post that was posted on by mark andreessen that picked up a lot of steam over the weekend um, it's a really inspiring post that basically calls to act, it calls it's an arms it's, it's basically a call to action right instead of people sitting down and critiquing and getting their head in the bother it's time that we kind of look at all the mistakes um, that our governments have done over this pandemic and you know things that happened beforehand and find out if there's a way that we can build things in our own little communities and our own little scenes to further uh, push humanity forward right instead of kind of going and making another angry birds app what can you be doing at a local level to get people together maybe with you know a consortium a collective of different sort of housing projects you know whatever you are whatever medium you work in architecture designer community activist there's wings that we can do in our own um in our own sphere of interest in our own sphere of abilities that we should be pushing ourselves to do and in an effort to kind of answer that call i decided to think about some of the solutions that could be done especially with a lot of these events not happen a lot of the bigger events not happening so if we are to believe that a lot of these big events or clubs especially won't be open until the end of the year yeah end of the year end of the year end of the year probably beginning of the year then most likely they're not we're going to need a lot of the young or not young this does forget age we're going to need a lot of the independent diy scrappy startups and you know event organizers promoters to sort of fill that void for people who want to have hedonistic experiences and go out and party and have a good time right especially if there's a vaccine around people don't mind taking a risk cool if you don't mind taking a risk we need to have an option there and i think the option will be to return to a return to um resident dj lineups where you essentially have club nights going on in these kind of quote-unquote illegal diy spaces maybe you know i think i've got li literally written here right a uh, club night of the future on here on a bit of paper that i kind of specked out here right so you've got um capacity about 50 to 150 people so it could be anywhere from like a a kind of reappropriate your coffee shop a little art gallery somewhere a warehouse a location it could be anywhere that you are kind of residing line up again i'd kind of push for uh renaissance i'd kind of push for encouraging local people to play so that you have the ability to also tap into their community base their following and there's also the ability to kind of get more people to play during one uh, any given event and then kind of split the cost amongst them because mostly i know from my experience coming up and djing you don't really care about what you get paid you're more worried about you're more interested about playing in front of a captive audience right you want to play in front of people that actually give a shit about the music you're playing that are there for what you know for the right reasons blah 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 so if you're able to spread the cost amongst six people as opposed to booking one mega or two mega stars it makes that better then you can invest it in other things production cost um bar i don't know maybe getting some legit security down like loads of cool things like that will go really well and of course the cost more internally would then um kind of be molded around the idea of making it free or having like a nominal fee between five to ten euros or pounds and i think that is kind of be probably the way forward um if we are if we do want to return to that kind of uh, realm we need to be able to have that kind of option available to us because i think if you're waiting for fabric or the places to open you're gonna be waiting a long long time because those places have you know mountains of paper they have to make sure they get signed off from you know they're like li they're, they're liable for a lot more than just people coming through the door that want to you know take bumps in the toilet they've got staff they need to worry about as well um so more likely than not we're gonna need you know a diy scrappy promoters to fill that void and kind of pop up little you know spaces here and there um that are semi-legal semi-illegal you know wink wink nudge nudge and that will hopefully kind of tie people down or of course you can always be more willing to wait but i think usually especially in down times when people are a bit uncertain and they're not what they're not afraid of their futures and shit they need a little bit of a release and i think if you're able to give them that release in that way people will it will make life a little bit more worth living so there is a lot of responsibility in that effect as well but i know it's something i want to do going forward i think even if there is no 
void filled with these with these kind of spaces i will look into doing it myself and probably hiring out a space and getting something out and using the opportunity to to because a lot of people when they put on nights they do it to kind of promote themselves so you can get more gigs but i really want to kind of go back to the idea of kind of have, providing a platform for people who aren't necessarily that well known and kind of being able to be part of their story part of their origin story so that five ten years down the line when they become a big headlining act they can kind of quote you know the little things that i did for them or the platform that i provided or somebody else provided for them along their journey that helped and then i think those kind of stories will inevitably help to kind of change the culture of also we're not just you know it's just so frustrating for me personally you know going out to the club nights and you know all these areas and it's you just seeing the same people that you see when you go to berlin when you go to these other countries in europe playing in the same venues that you got here all these big headline acts you're not necessarily seeing the people that are local that can do that intrinsically tied to that local scene um that's what you want to see you want to get a feel uh for what those people actually listen to day in day out and more likely than not it's not going to be these massive names that we know who are always in the top 20 or 30 list of voted people so that's something i kind of proposed there in my kind of plan in my little black book that i'm writing so yeah hopefully that happens who knows who knows